In Britain, we have many interesting things, and we've started off many trends and whatever. And one of the, I guess, the strangest things we have here is that we have someone, a character called the wickedest man in the world. <laughs> so we have the strange um, honour in this country of of giving birth or nurturing the wickedest man <laughs> in the world, which is someone called Alistair Crowley. Because this this phrase, the wickedest man in the world, was is not really true. It's something that was kind of coined or put together by the the press, the popular press in in the 1930s when this this guy. I should say that Alistair Crowley, he's not actually alive anymore though. He's such a legendary personality that a lot of people think that he is still alive. You know, he's kind of he's he's really part of of a lot of people's kind of nightmare world in in some ways. But he actually he died in I think about 1947. But in the 1930s, he he tried to start a little kind of commune, I suppose, before anything like that had, had been done. It was one of the first alternative communities that he tried to start in Sicily. And the press then were always into having the idea of a good story, just, just as they are. I don't know what newspapers, where you come from, but here we have these kind of tabloid presses that, don't have a lot of news in them. They just, they kind of have stories about crazy goings on or, you know, someone having an affair with a vicar or whatever. So it's not, it's not serious stuff. So that, that sort of press has always been there here and they look for characters and they actually sent a journalist to spy on this community, I suppose, and try and say what things that they could do that they could then report to their readers who, you know, and it was mainly things like, nude bathing on the beach, you know, which of course in the 1930s is maybe a naughty thing to do, you know, and because you can put this in, in, in the press and they built up this kind of image, really. Some crazy things did go on on the community. Uh, I mean, it was probably a little bit out of control. It was probably a bit ahead of its time and they certainly didn't have any money, right, for things like uh, facilities and sanitation. So I, I think someone did actually die there of some local disease that they'd they'd caught when of course when the press took that idea they turned that into all sorts of fantasy things about crazy things going on there and about black magic and um curses and and whatever and they came up with the idea of alistair crowley the wickedest man in the world <laughs> and it, it really stuck i'm obviously I think probably alistair crowley was was a lot more of a serious character than people think I'm quite interested in paganism, and I think even people who don't like him as an individual will acknowledge that he got things going. He broke the ice, as it, as it were, and things are easier now. People are more in the open and more sensible, but someone had to start it, and whoever was going to, say, do something unusual and break away from the, the traditional is bound to get a lot of the press on on their back and his, ba his band are going to suffer for it. So I think most people don't like him as an individual, but admire him as a person who, who did do something, who did sort of, he was a very, very erudite man, very clever man, uh, very sort of adventurous. And he wrote lots of amazing books on magic and paganism and folklore and history and uh, ancient times and stuff. And those books are, you know, have changed the world really. Certainly now people have expanded on them. So like him or hate him, he, for, for people now, he changed the world. He had an effect. He lived his life and things, things would be, you know, a lot different otherwise. So Alistair Crowley, wickedest man in the world, I think not really. I mean, but an interesting guy, maybe a, a difficult guy and, I'm glad people like that exist in this country. And in some sort of way, I'm kind of proud that we gave the wickedest man in the world to the world.